Hello everyone. In our last class, we have discussed about uh, chemical reactions and equations. Right? Now we are going to discuss one more new topic from our 10th class physics. Right? That is acids, bases and salts. This is our topic acids, bases and salts. We have already discussed in our previous class in our in seventh class okay about what is acids, what is bases, what is salts. That once uh, we are going to recall it okay. Then we know that acids and bases acids are corrosive in nature okay they are corrosive in nature acids are bases are slippery okay slippery in nature these acids are corrosive and uh, bases are slippery when we touch the uh, um, bases then it gives then a uh, smooth okay it is in slippery and uh, acids are sore in taste acids are sore in taste okay and bases are bitter in taste in taste then bases are uh, bitter and acids are sore in taste then sir here uh, the what are the material what are the substances we have in the laboratory we are unable to taste right we are unable to taste the acid we are unable to taste the bases right here taste is not a perfect method to find given um, substances acid or base instead of taste we have to test it instead of taste we have to test it right then how can we test sir how can we test then we have indicators we will test with the indicators right we will test the given a uh, substance or give, uh, given a uh, solution is in acidic in nature or basic in nature we can test with the indicators sir what is indicators what is indicators mean the substances which are help us to test the given material is in acidic in nature or basic in nature right the substances which are help us to test the, the nature of the substances okay right here indicators uh, are classified into two types natural indicators and uh, synthetic indicators we have natural indicators and uh, synthetic indicators there we know that uh, okay uh, extraction extract of uh, petals of flowers right uh, and extract of a red cabbage and turmeric powder or turmeric solution okay red litmus and blue lit right these are are the natural indicators these contains uh, what are then extract of petals of some colored flowers colored flowers right extraction of red cabbage right turmeric powder or turmeric solution these such kind of uh, some of the flowers they have uh, the pigment uh, in weak uh, basic or acidic in nature right 
these are help us to test help us to test the given solution or acid or base not only that we have synthetic indicators also right these are methyl orange methyl orange solution right phenaphthalein phenaphthalein solution right these are uh, considered as a uh, artificial or synthetic indicators okay methyl orange is in orange color right then phenaphthalein solution is colorless colorless solution the indicator which we use the phenaphthalein this is colorless then methyl orange is in orange in color right this we can use to test the test the the given solution is in acidic in nature or in basic in nature got it right then here what we discuss then acids or corrosive and sour in taste bases are slippery and bitter in taste and we have indicators to test the nature of the substances or whether they are in acidic in nature or basic in nature we use the indicators these are indicators again classified into two types then natural indicators and synthetic indicators then extraction of petals of colored flowers or extract of a red cabbage and so and so so and so or the natural indicators they are naturally available and we have synthetic indicators they are methyl orange and uh, phenaphthalein solution okay methyl orange is an orange in color and phenaphthalein solution is colorless okay now we are going to discuss we are going to do one activity uh, how then given solutions or acid or basic acidic in nature or basic in nature by using the indicators by using the indicators in this chapter we are going to discuss in you know, acids basics and uh, salts topic we are going to discuss the properties of uh, acids and bases and uh, neutralization reactions okay now our uh, we are going to discuss properties of acids and bases in that first activity right take a uh, some solutions okay so substances or elements and a uh, red litmus paper red lit right and uh, blue lit and uh, phenaphthalein phenaphthalein solution and uh, methyl orange okay this these are the indicators to test the solutions okay right here <coughs> here uh, i am taking some of the substances hcl right and uh, some amount of h2so4 and uh, hno3 okay and uh, naoh and uh, koh and uh, magnesium hydroxide these are the uh, sample substances i have taken now i am um, then now out of these uh, six samples which are uh, acids which are bases okay while seeing their uh, uh, physical appearance we can't na uh, we, uh, we can't judge uh, the whether the given substances or acids or bases right sure to do this activity we required a uh, 
four watch glasses okay take a uh, four watch glasses say a b c i have taken four watch glasses i have given names for the watch glasses a b c d okay take a small amount of take small amount of a 2 ml of or 5 ml of hcl in a and in all the four watch glasses take a hcl hydrochloric acid you can take a, then in all the four watch glasses i have taken hcl in all the four glasses with a small quantity 2 ml okay then after take a red litmus paper and dip in watch glass a right and take a blue litmus paper in a watch glass b right and add some phenaphthalene solutions so a few drops of phenaphthalene solution in a c and uh, next in watch glass uh, b in watch glass d add some drops a uh, few drops of uh, methyl orange in this phenaphthalene okay what i did i have taken four watch glasses and in all the four watch glasses i have taken a hydrochloric acid in all the four watch glasses right and after then i have used in first first watch glass red litmus paper in second watch glass the blue litmus paper in third watch glass phenaphthalene solution a few or two or three drops and in last watch glass i have added then the methyl orange okay right then after dipping then see the any change in the color of in the color of the red litmus paper is there any change no change then uh, write the uh, write your observation in the table okay right then no change no change means then red litmus paper as it is when i dip in this solution it is red in color only okay when i dip the blue litmus paper in hcl solution the blue litmus paper is turns into red it turns into red in color then it changes into red color right and the phenaphthalene solution when i add a phenaphthalene solution to it there is no change absorb no change when i add phenaphthalene uh, uh, solution drops to the hcl okay then after at uh, the methyl orange what i absorb when i added methyl orange drops to the hcl and this solution is turns into red color that solution turns into red color why these are changing their colors why because these all the fours are indicators these can indicate whether the given substance is acid or base while changing their color okay right and uh, next uh, uh, then in the all the four watch glasses the next uh, uh, take a h2so4 okay repeat the activity with a uh, h2so4 there also no change repeat uh, same activity right no change a uh, red uh, red litmus paper is as it is right but uh, blue turns into the red in color and in phenaphthalene solution also no change right when i add methyl orange to the sulfuric acid sul then h2so4 it is get turns into red in color okay right next when i <coughs> next i have taken in all the four watch glasses hno3 right then in nh hno3 then when i dip the red litmus paper then also i observe that there is no change and blue lit turns into the red in color and phenaphthalene also no change 
and methyl orange is turns into the red color when I add it to the HNO3. This is absorption I done with these three, right? Next, I have taken NaOH, right? When I dip the red litmus paper in NaOH, then red lit is turns into blue. Okay, when I dip the red litmus paper in NaOH solution, it given it changes its color as blue, right? When I dip the blue litmus paper in NaOH, it again turns into blue. That means no change, blue as blue only, right? Okay, then phenaphthalein solution. Okay, when I added some few drops of phenaphthalein solution to NaOH, that solution color it changes into pink in color. Actually, the phenaphthalein is colorless. When I add it to base that means NaOH it is turns into the pink in color and uh, when I added methyl orange to the NaOH solution then the solution is changes into yellow right uh, yellow color next uh, then again KOH right potassium hydroxide when I dip a uh, red uh, Red litmus turns into blue, blue as it is blue, there is no change. Okay, phenaphthalein solution added to KOH, it turns into the pink in color. Right, then when I add methyl orange to KOH, again it turns into yellow. What it? And when I dip red litmus in magnesium hydroxide, it changes into blue. Red changes into blue. And blue as it is blue got it and uh, phenaphthalein solution added to magnesium hydroxide then it changes into pink and when i added uh, methyl orange to mg oh uh, then it is given it turns into yellow this is observation i done when i tested these uh, indicators with a given different solution right from this i came to know that i came to know that these three are these three are given same kind of result first three has given same result and these uh, lost three has given same result and we have already learned in our uh, seventh class the red litmus paper it changes uh, then sorry blue litmus paper changes its color into red the given solution is called as acidic in nature okay then we learn all same thing red litmus paper is turns into the blue then the given solution is called as basic in nature so these are these sorry these are acids right these are bases like that we can test in laboratory instead of taste we can test by in this way got it all right and not only this some of the substances some of the substances or changes their order okay their changes their order also such kind of indicators when we add uh, to acid or base they change their order such kind of uh, indicators are called as olfactory indicators okay such kind of indicators the indicators which can change their order while adding to or uh, acids or bases those are called as olfactory indicators sir how can we do that activity sir very simple <coughs> take a finely chopped onions right take onions and make it into a fine uh, the thin uh, small pieces into a, a plastic bag and uh, add two cloth two cloth pieces in the plastic bag and uh, tie it tightly and uh, keep the bag in a fridge over a night okay very simple take a plastic bag uh, in that bag you can take uh, a finely chopped onions and two cloth pieces and tie it tightly and keep it in a fridge 
by overnight then after take out the two cloths and one smell it once smell the two cloths for example these two cloths have taken and uh, once uh, smell these uh, uh, cloths and after keep the cloths on floor and add uh, on one cloth acid and one cloth base okay when uh, on uh, add hcl on a uh, one cloth piece and add some uh, higher than sodium hydroxide on one more cloth and uh, wash both the cloth pieces separately with the uh, distilled water okay what we have to we have to take the cloths from the plastic bag and add uh, some hcl or any acid to one cloth and uh, add any oh or any base to one more cloth and uh, rinse separately rinse the separately both the cloths with the distilled water and again test uh, then test the smell and smell it there you can find out then one interesting thing when on which cloth piece on which cloth piece uh, we added NaOH uh, that means base it changes or it loses its order okay loses its order right okay then if uh, when on which cloth we added then uh, we poured some hcl there is no change in its order right why then here what we understood that the cloth that cloth which we kept in our chopped onions that is act as olfactory indicator while, while adding it changes its color no it changes its smell got it such kind of uh, uh, indicators are called as olfactory indicators right finally we came to know that what is indicator the indicators which are to help us to test the given substance uh, is in acidic in nature or basic in nature got it all right and here we are going to discuss real then here one simple question why can't we preserve the sour substances or pickles in copper or bronze containers why can't we preserve that right that we are going to find the answer why we are not preserving okay <coughs> right to know that we have to do one lab activity very important activity right a lab activity means aim our aim is to do this activity our aim reaction of acids with metals okay reaction of acids with metals aim next step we are right materials required materials required okay test tube okay and uh, delivery tube okay candle and glass vessel right and uh, metal here i have taken zinc zinc granules and uh, dilute hcl these are the materials okay test tube delivery tube candle glass vessel and zinc granules it is a metal and uh, i have taken dilute hydrochloric acid then reaction of acids with metal no here hcl is the acid and uh, zinc granules are the metals right the next uh, procedure right after the procedure we have to draw the diagram 
very important activity right then while explaining the procedure i will draw the diagram also right take a retort stand take a retort stand this is retort stand to hold the test tube okay right and fix the test tube this is test tube fix the test tube to the retort stand okay retort stand and tear fix the test tube okay and <coughs> take a small amount of uh, or either 10 ml of hydrochloric acid and i have taken hcl i have taken hcl in a test tube right and uh, add a uh, zinc granules and take zinc granules in the test tube in test tube what i have taken zinc granules and as well as hcl right and uh, fix the test tube with the single hold rubber cork single hold rubber cork and uh, fix a delivery tube fix a delivery tube this is delivery tube take a single holder rubber cork and it is a single holder rubber cork uh, fix the delivery tube and another end of the delivery tube take it into the glass vessel which contains the soap water which contains the soap water right this is the arrangement very simple arrangement take a retort stand and uh, fix a, a test tube okay fix a test tube to the retort stand and uh, take a 10 ml of hydrochloric acid in the test tube and uh, add a few zinc granules to it okay and after close the test tube with the help of a single hold rubber cork and fix the delivery tube in the test tube and another end into the glass vessel which contains the soap water okay this is the procedure what do you observe right then when we uh, added uh, zinc granules we noticed uh, the a uh, gas bubbles on zinc granules and uh, that uh, that uh, bubbles the gas is releases from the delivery tube to the soap water and it forms the bubbles gas bubbles in the vessel right then we have find out that when metals are reacted with the acids right or acid is react with the metal it releases the gas it releases the gas so what gas is that whether it is oxygen or whether it is a carbon dioxide or whether it is a hydrogen what gas is this to test that to test that we brought uh, then one burning candle one uh, burning candle near these bubbles okay then we notice that when the burning candle brought near to the bubbles that burning candle is put off with the pop sound it put off with the pop sound okay then we have already discussed in our last class in our last chapter this is a test for hydrogen gas when hydrogen gas is evolved if we bring at the burning matchstick or burning candle near the mouth of the container it uh, put off with the pop sound whether it is oxygen it burns more brighter if it is a carbon dioxide it put off normally it put off but here the candle is put off with a pop sound that means that means the given gas is 
hydrogen gas the given gas is hydrogen gas okay right then here chemical reaction then observation we notice that when metals or uh, reacts with acid it produces the hydrogen gas right uh, the reaction here's the reaction is the zinc and hydrochloric acid it gives zinc chloride and as well as hydrogen gas i have to make it into balanced right when metal reacts with hydrochloric acid we get a zinc chloride and a hydrogen we have already learned how to balance the chemical equation in our chap last chapter how to make uh, uh, the given uh, solution given equation is more informative also we learned that then zinc is solid in state this is aqueous and here also we get a aqueous solution and hydrogen gas okay right and instead of that zinc i have taken one more copper i have taken copper metal is copper and uh, same i have added hcl and uh, got it right this is a uh, product and same here also we got hydrogen gas here also we get hydrogen gas okay and uh, uh, repeat the same activities with the different different acids such as sulfuric acid instead of hydrochloric acid use it sulfuric acid or use it uh, nitric acid and we get same results what we are getting then now i am going to write the from by observation this all the by observing this all the chemical reaction then final conclusion we get that when metals metal reacts with acid metal react with acid it gives a salt plus hydrogen gas this is the general reaction got it this is the a general reaction then your final conclusion is then reaction of acids with metal then what we concluded that when acids or reacts with the metals then metal reacts with acid it gives the salt and hydrogen got it then this is our conclusion okay right uh, what happened if uh, the metals are reacted with bases right metals are reacted with the bases now we are going to do now the reaction of bases with the metals okay reaction of bases with the metals here the procedure are same here of materials test tube delivery tube candle glass vessel and here i have taken same zinc granules and uh, naoh what i have taken as a base here naoh is the uh, base and uh, zn is the metal okay right then remaining arrangements are uh, same but here we have to heat the we have to heat the test tube right we have to heat the test tube with the help of the spirit lamp then we get uh, the gas that gas we have test with the uh, a burning candle and uh, it is put off with a pop sound it is also put off with a pop sound that means what gas is this hydrogen gas is released same in the case of in the metals also uh, then we get a hydrogen gas as one of the product and here also we get a hydrogen gas right here then what uh, what what are the materials here we have taken here the zinc and uh, the solution is naoh naoh right 
Now I am going to write the uh, equation then NaOH plus zinc, right? Bases reacts with the metals, it gives Na2ZnO2 plus H2O. That means sodium zincate, sodium zincate and hydrogen gas we got it so we have to balance it okay sodium zinc this is a salt then in this reactions also we get in this reactions also we get uh, then when bases or reacts with the metals when bases or reacts with the metals we get a sodium zincate that means here in the case of zinc right when base is reacts with the zinc we get as a product sodium zincate and hydrogen gas finally the general observation we came to know that while the bases are reacts with metals also they produce the salt and hydrogen gas now we are going to discuss one more activity reaction of acids with the carbonates and uh, metal hydrogen carbonates okay all right to do this uh, activity take a retort stand okay and uh, fix a test tube to it take a small amount of sodium carbonate that means uh, one gram of sodium carbonate take one gram of sodium carbonate in the test tube okay and uh, fix a two hold a rubber cork two hold a rubber cork from the two hold a rubber cork then fix a crystal funnel okay and one delivery tube and one delivery tube right okay test tube in the test tube i have taken uh, some uh, sodium carbonate one gram of sodium carbonate and i have fixed a, uh, a, a double hold rubber cork okay this is double hold rubber cork in one uh, all I have fixed a crystal funnel and uh, one more I have used one delivery tube okay and add uh, a small amount of uh, HCl small amount of HCl or small amount of HCl in it okay right then while reaction is takes place we notice that some gas is evolves the gas is evolves through the delivery tube gas is evolves through the delivery tube and at the mouth of the delivery tube fix one more test tube okay fix a one more test tube which contains the calcium hydroxide which contains the a calcium hydroxide solution okay in aqueous solution then we notice that calcium hydroxide turns into the milky white right when gas evolved from this uh, reaction that is passed through the into the uh, test tube which contains the calcium hydroxide then that uh, solution is turns into the milky white right that means when calcium hydroxide the lime water can turns into the milky white when it reacts with the carbon dioxide gas only when it is reacts with the carbon dioxide gas this is also one of the test of carbon dioxide okay right when uh, when carbon dioxide and the calcium hydroxide is reacts it turns into the milky white okay then here we came to know that the gas evolved 
in this reaction is carbon dioxide okay right then what reaction is takes place the sodium carbonate sodium carbonate is reacted with hydrochloric acid okay when sodium carbonate reacts with the hcl it gives while the reaction it has given a sodium chloride and as well as water and carbon dioxide gas okay right then this is the reaction of acid with carbonate instead of this after this uh, take a uh, one more test tube and uh, in the test tube uh, take a uh, one gram of uh, instead of sodium carbonate here i am going to take a uh, sodium hydrogen carbonate sodium hydrogen carbonate what i have taken sodium hydrogen carbonate and again i have added hcl and again i tested the gas which is evolved from the reaction that is again co2 got it right then here what reaction is takes place sir so when sodium hydrogen carbonate nhco3 is reacts with hcl it reacts with hcl and it given a salt it given a salt and water and carbon dioxide right this is sodium metal hydrogen carbonate this is metal hydrogen carbonate is react with the acid this is acid this is salt this is acid a salt and we got a water water carbon dioxide gas carbon dioxide gas and here you have noticed that what are the products we get when the acids are react with the sodium water carbonates and the hydrogen carbon metal hydrogen carbonates okay then here these are the products what are the products here commonly we came to know that then as metal carbonate general reaction when any metal carbonate reacts with acid reacts with acid it gives the product a salt and water and a carbon dioxide and carbon dioxide are right like this carbon dioxide carbon dioxide right then when metal hydrogen carbonate reacts with acid gives salt respect to salt and water and at the same time carbon dioxide these are the general reaction when metal carbonates or reacts with the acid and when metal hydrogen carbonate is reacts with the right this is the reaction reaction of acids with the metal carbonates and as well here metal carbonates right here sir why uh, the uh, calcium hydroxide is turns into white here what reaction is takes place uh, between carbon dioxide gas and calcium hydroxide then when calcium hydroxide is react with the carbon dioxide we will get we will get uh, calcium carbonate in the precipitate form in the precipitate and water CaCO3 and water when calcium hydroxide react with the carbon dioxide gas if i send excessive of carbon dioxide to the calcium carbonate and what to this to this product i then we send some more extra carbon dioxide right these are exposed to excessive of carbon dioxide we get as product got it then this is the reactions in this way the reactions are takes place when acids are reacts with the metal carbonates and metal hydrogen carbonates these are the 
general reaction when metal carbonates or metal hydrogen carbonates the metal carbonates or metal hydrogen carbonates are reacts with the acid we get the products as salt water and carbon dioxide gas got it then now we are going to discuss one more activity all right then take a test tube in this test tube take a small amount of or 2 ml of NaOH small amount of NaOH and add a few drops of phenaphthalene solution phenaphthalene phenaphthalene solution okay few drops of phenaphthalene solution to it then we came to know that it's a color is changes when we added the phenaphthalene solution to the test tube the color it changes the solution color changes into pink right then it proves that when phenaphthalene is added and to the sodium hydroxide that means bases the solution turns into the pink color okay then after add a hcl then add hcl to the solution to this solution by drop by drop okay while adding while adding the hcl to the test tube to this solution the slowly the pink color is disappears slowly the pink color is disappears while adding it right then after add a 1 ml of an extra 2 ml of naoh to the same solution again the colorless solution becomes again pink color right got it when first we added the phenaphthalene drops to this solution naoh a turns into the pink color right while adding the hcl drop by drop this pink color is disappeared slowly it disappeared right got it then again i added small quantity of naoh to it again this solution turns into pink again this solution is turns into the pink in color then after again add a hcl drop by drop to it then again the solution is turns into the colorless then this pink color is disappears that pink color is disappears that means uh, what is happening sir here what is happening sir right when pink color is uh, disappear why the phenaphthalene color is a uh, disappear the pink color is disappeared means the reaction takes place that is called as uh, neutralization reaction right here what are the uh, reactants we have taken naoh right and hcl this is base and this is acid okay when we added when we added to it here we are going to get nacl and plus water so we are getting nacl and water right here nacl is a, a salt and here we get a water right then here i have taken instead of a, that hydro uh, hcl then same naoh plus h2so4 sulfuric acid king of chemicals right then here what do we get right then two na2so4 sodium sulfite and plus h2 h2 oh then 2 h2o this is the reaction is takes place here also what we get this is base acid 
uh, salt and water then finally from this activity we came to know that we came to know that when at bases base and acid or reacts and gives the salt and water this is the final general equation general equation simply have to say it. when the acid and the bases or gives the product as salt and water this reactions are known as neutralization reaction neutralization reaction we are neutralizing so that's why then we use uh, antacid tablets or antacid syrups right that antacid syrup is neutralized our reaction what are the acid contains in our stomach then the antacid contains the basic in nature then when we use the antacid tablet or syrup then it neutralizes okay right then this is called as neutralization reaction got it the general reaction then acids and bases reacts to form the salt and water okay the next uh, activity is reaction of acids with the metal oxides reaction of acids with the metal oxide take a test tube okay and uh, take small amount of copper oxide c u o c u o and uh, add a small amount of uh, hcl by drop it up add hcl to this copper oxide i have added hcl then we know that then color while adding the color of the solution is turns into bluish green okay this color is turns into bluish green why it is turns are why it is turns means the while a chemical reaction why the color is changing means the chemical reaction is takes place between hydrochloric acid and the copper oxide to form the cupric chloride cupric chloride and we get water okay this is the balanced equation right when copper oxide is reacts with hydrochloric acid it gives the copper chloride and water okay right instead of that i have taken then magnesium oxide and show that i have taken magnesium oxide and hcl then when i added when the reaction is takes place between magnesium oxide and hydrochloric acid then it gives the product as magnesium chloride and water magnesium chloride and water okay then this is the then here it is metal oxide this is also metal oxide right then when metal oxide reacts with the acid it has given the salt salt magnesium chloride and cupric chlorides or the salts then we are getting salt and water salt and water this is the general reaction which we takes place when metal oxides when ever the metal oxides or reacts with acids they give salt and water and here <coughs> in just a while, in before reaction we get same products salt and water when we got it when acid and base when acid and base reacts gives a salt and 
what are and in the, in this case in this uh, uh, activity also we are getting same as a product no that means here metal oxides are basic in nature this proves that what uh, metal oxides are basic in nature got it uh, right when metal oxides or reacts with uh, the metal oxides or reacts with the uh, hydrochloric acid then any acids right metal acids or reacts with any acids they gives the uh, products as salt and water like neutralization reaction in neutralization reaction we got same uh, then a uh, salt and uh, water salt and water right here what happened if uh, bases or reacts with the uh, bases are reacts with non metal acids reaction of bases with non metal oxides okay reaction of bases with the non metal oxide here i have taken then calcium hydroxide is reacts with the carbon dioxide and it gives calcium carbonate and water okay calcium carbonate ca co3 and uh, water right got it 2 2 plus 1 3 and now it balances okay then when calcium hydroxide reacts with the carbon dioxide and it gives calcium carbonate and water here we know that calcium hydroxide is base right and we got a calcium carbonate is salt and water so here the products are same like in the neutralization reaction in neutralization reaction we get a product as salt and water and uh, then in last uh, activity what we discuss reaction of acids uh, with the metal oxide there also we get a uh, same product and here also we are getting same products as salt and water right that means we know that this carbon dioxide is acidic in nature okay that means non metal carbon dioxide is the non metal okay carbon dioxide is a non metal oxide and the calcium hydroxide is the base right when bases or reacts with acid we get salt and water this is the general reaction that means we came to know that then metal oxides metal oxides or basic in nature right that's why when metal oxides are reacts with acid we get salt and water right here non metal oxides or acid in nature acidic in nature okay that's why when the metal non metal oxides or reacts with the bases then we are getting salt and water okay get it this is our today's class thank you